What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel and I just almost cut myself, I'll be right back. What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.V. I don't know if you guys can tell by my body language, you know, I got like a semi grin on my face. You know why? Because look, I'm taking it and I'm going home, folks. I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make. Listen, we doing the chicken Creole, so let's get it. Hey, so you guys can see, look, check out the new Magnetic Signature Series knife block. And as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. First thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start prepping my, you know, my chicken, right? So let me just go ahead and sharpen my blade. And as you guys can see, look, you guys be beating me up in the comments, talking about, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. Most people probably don't change, you know, from a, a board like this and then using a regular cutting board. I got it because they a little bit on the poor side, poor side, you know, meaning it's got some like divots in it because it's wood, right? But I can promise you, if you guys clean it properly, I've never ever had no issue. But for the sake of argument, we finna get down the right way. So look, now I'm just finna cut this. I'm gonna cut these down into just like, just like one inch pieces, right? You know what I mean? So we'll just do it like this. It's up to you how you wanna do it. But I will tell you this, you want all your pieces to be about the same. So these are about the same, right? In thickness, that way they all cook the same at the same time. I'm gonna cut them down like this and just make these little small cubes. And this right here is cool. Now you guys can see, look, right here, I got a lot of chicken, right? I'm gonna be feeding a lot of people, but for the sake of this uh, video right here, I'm gonna probably use about 60% of this, you know, just for the video sake purposes. And also I wanna show you guys, look, look at this right here. This is like a, a walk slash pan, right? It's more of a walk, but I'm gonna use this because of the volume, you know, and how big the chicken pieces are. I want you guys to take a look and you can see like this little pattern. You see that right there, that little, hexagon, you know, pattern or whatever. Look, they market this, and my disclaimer is, listen, I don't get nothing for talking about this or nothing like this, but whenever I find a cool product, I'm gonna let you guys know. But you see this right here, you can use metal utensils in it. Uh, that right there makes it fire, and nothing sticks to it. Hey, but with me saying that, let me just go ahead, let's start bringing this up to temp. I'm gonna start with like a, just a medium flame, you know, put some heat in there. Now, I know you guys been seeing that I got regular olive oil, right? I'm gonna be honest with you, look, this is just sitting right here, and what this is in the inside of this, it's never regular. I keep these filled with like garlic, scallion, stuff like that, right? But for the sake of argument, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Here's the garlic infused. Look, this is by Branch and Vine. Listen, you guys gotta get products like this, cause this is like what sends us over the top, right? Just a little bit. And I know I just told you guys, look, I, I do mean what I tell you, it does not stick, but right now we just making flavor. Now when we cook this, we don't wanna cook this, we don't wanna cook it like, I'm gonna just say this, we wanna take the pinkness out. You know why? Because after we get all of that, we are gonna put everything together. We are gonna continue to cook it, right? I'm gonna go ahead and distribute a little bit of my oil around. This is nice and hot. And I'm gonna start just adding some of my, my chicken. Got that in there, you can see it's starting to cook. You can see how the white is starting to rise. That let me know it's cooking just fine, right? Look, just the Creole kick. What we doing? We doing Creole chicken, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just add some. Listen, you can't add too much, cause look, this is the flavor that we looking for. If you guys don't have this, you can always, you know, make your own Creole seasoning or use what you have in there. But if you ever wanna know what I cook with, this is what it is right here, folks. Hey, and not to forget this part right here, look right there. Yes, sir. What I like about, you know, Sweet Smokey Joe and most of their products, excuse me, all of their products, they low on that sodium, right? So we're gonna have to wake this up a little bit, just a little bit with a couple of, I hate to use three, cause then we gotta say few, but we gonna go ahead and do it like that. Add that in there just to enhance the flavor. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just move this around. Now just because of how I am, this is why I'm using a wood spoon, you know, cause we all conditioned to do that. But I promise you, I can use metal you know what I mean? Until everybody get educated on, you know, this, this hexaclad, you know, this design right here and how it works, I'm gonna go ahead and use the wood. Plus, I'm heavily vested in wood anyway. We're just gonna keep cooking this. We, want to, we don't wanna see any pink. You guys can use this. There's not enough in here that we have to worry about using no tones. You know what I mean? I could just turn these over just like you see. Now, I'm gonna let this work. I'm gonna go ahead and wash those and get those ready. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, get these going, right? You see this white right here? Man, if I was doing some kind of country broil or something like that, I'd probably use it all. But right now, we'll just cut it right there. I can hear y'all now saying, oh, he wasting. So it's up to you how big you want yours to be. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hand, bring it around like this. We'll just put that over there like that. Check it out, we're gonna do our bell pepper. All kind of ways to skin a cat. You guys can do it your own way, excuse me. 
this way. Be careful. I'm trying to make sure that I can get all of my, you know, all of the bell pepper and just only end up with a, just a little bit of waste. Let's see where we at right here. Just checking on it. Any more pieces that need to be flipped, I'll flip them now. These are looking good. You can see no more pink. This right here is what we're trying to, you know, achieve, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and just take it, you know, turn the fire off underneath, right? And I'm gonna take these, let this drain a little bit, and we just add it over here. We just wanna set this to the side. Look at that right there. If you see me chewing right now, you know what? Chef choice, I get to taste everything, right? I just tasted one of them pieces of chicken. Ooh wee, folks. As you can see, look, this is starting to boil again too, right? I ain't already brought this up. You know, put a little fire under there. I'm really at a low, but this pan just distributes the heat. I don't know what it is about the design. It's right, folks. Now, with that little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my, my celery and my bell peppers. Now you understand what I'm talking about when I say we building flavors, right? Get this going. Then we're gonna let this cook down a little bit, lose a little bit of this liquid. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just put my onions in. This right here is fire. While those are sauteing and getting ready, right? What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and just start, what we doing, we just multitasking, right? I'm gonna take this off, I haven't even looked at it. It's only been like a couple of minutes, you know what I mean? But I know it's right. And I gotta say this too, listen, when we get the right products and we get some things made of quality, check this out folks. Guess what, it's not even hot. And don't forget, you saw when I had burned myself, I made that video showing that, uh, that steam burn, right? We wanna break it away, let everything out this way, and then we take it off. But that there, I'm loving that. Let me go ahead and get this. Ah, if you guys can't see the flavor, something is wrong. Everything else that's left is gonna be like a dump and go, right? So let me go ahead and get my spatula. Get my rubber spatula, cause look, this is what it's about. And it's a stick, right? So we wanna get all of the ingredients in here. So we just do it like that. Sprinkle here. And again. And again. Right? And then this right here, look, these are the fire roasted diced onions, excuse me, tomatoes. But here's the key. We don't wanna drain them, we wanna add it all, just like you see. Then we are gonna come with the broth. We finna just mix this, keep it going. We just wanna get, you know, we gotta get that paste to dilute, right? But I guess you guys can see right now where it's going. You wanna talk about a go a bowl of goodness? This is it, folks. So let me just go ahead and press that right there. Ah, yeah. Gotta get yourself one of these presses, folks. You have seen in several of my videos, it should be in all of them, Listen, you gotta taste your food as you go, right? The reason I'ma taste it, cause I'ma see if it need any salt or any adjustments I need to make to it, I make to it now. All I'ma say is, it could take a couple of dashes of salt. Oh, and that's kosher salt, folks. Okay, so let's take a look at it. I can hear it. I know it's simmering in there. Look at that right there. Hey, listen, not to mention that it smells incredible. So I'm just moving this. I don't really have to hit the bottom of it because look, like I told you, nothing sticks to these pans. What kind of sorcery is that, huh? Hey, but anyway, I'm liking this. We done let it out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and guess what? We finna introduce our chicken back to it. Then we are gonna let this simmer for about, I don't know, I'm gonna say about 10 minutes, you know? And then we got, I got the rice already ready. Talk to me, folks. I need to see them comments. Let me know what you think. Put the top back on, on low. We're gonna go 10 minutes, and then we finna put on top of that rice, and we finna eat, folks. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, break it away, and that right there is what we want. Oh, yeah. Wee. Let me go ahead and get this. Move this around. This is what I want to see, folks. It's not my fault. You've been lying, saying that I took away your peace. Drowning by yourself, now you want to blame me. Like you have no options. 
I take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah So as you guys can see, look that right there, if that's not chicken creole, I don't know what he is. So look, now I'm gonna go ahead and just get me some green onion top because now we're gonna do a little bit of this garnish. But that there is fire, folks. You tell me. Now check this out, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Usually I be tasting and all of that. I know this is great. This is like a staple on, you know, at my family's table all the time. But listen, you wanna talk about using some real restraint? I tried not to hit this while I was doing my thumbnail. Hey, so I'm not gonna finna over talk it. You guys see it, I'm finna go ahead and just get me some of this. You know what I mean? Uh, let me just get a little mixture. Get a little bit of this chicken. And, oh, it's nice and hot, folks. Now this is the part I always tell you guys, this part ain't fair, right? But check this out, cheers. I don't even know why I wipe my mouth that good. You know why? Because I'm finna tear this up and I'm hungry. Hey, listen, so you know by it being good like that, I don't know if you guys can really see it on my face. I hope that we capture it. I don't put nothing on. Listen, I love food and I love good food. So listen, this is all about just making something, you know, super easy. Make sure when you put this out, you look at the people that's eating it right now. And then I want you to take your napkin and I want you to just drop it on the floor. Cause listen, you did your thing. Now listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button. And I want you guys to tell everybody out here, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I can't quit laughing because I'm ready to eat, folks. And with that being said, I'm finna grab this and you know the rest. Peace.